In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Our reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Mark, chapter 6, verses 7 through to 13. And he called the twelve to himself and began to send them out, two by two, and gave them power over unclean spirits. He commanded them to take nothing for the journey, except a staff, no bag, no bread, no copper in their money belts, but to wear sandals, and not to put on two tunics. Also he said to them, In whatever place you enter a house, stay there until you depart from that place. And whoever will not receive you, nor hear you, when you depart from there, shake off the dust under your feet as a testimony against them. Assuredly, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. So they went out and preached that people should repent. And they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and healed them. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful disciples of yours. In this scripture reading today from St. Mark, we read about the mission of the twelve, the twelve apostles. And we read the instructions that Jesus gave them. He commanded them to take nothing for the journey except a staff, no bag, no bread, no copper in their money belts, but to wear sandals, not to put on two tunics. And then he goes on. In whatever place you enter a house, stay there till you depart from that house. And whoever will not receive you nor hear you when you depart from there, Shake off the dust under your feet as the testament against them. Assuredly, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Yes, these were the instructions that Jesus gave his twelve apostles. And they went out and preached to the people that they should repent. They cast out demons and healed those who were sick. Yes, the mission of the twelve. But this also is our mission to all believers. Yes, you who are a follower of Christ, a disciple of Jesus, Our mission is to preach the word of God. To call on the people to repent of their worldly ways. Turn back, turn back, repent. Stop following the world. Yes. Repent. Turn back to God. And every day when you pray, give God the glory and the thanks for the opportunities he gives you every day. Yes, preach the gospel. You may feel to a point that you're no good at preaching. But there are many ways to preach the gospel. The way we live 
in this crazy world. To live a good life as a believing Christian. Yes. Don't be like the world. And that alone does say much. By actions, they will know that we are Christian. We don't need the words, but we need the actions. Pray constantly to the Holy Spirit to help you. And every day when you pray, give God the glory and thanks for these opportunities. Glory to you, O God. And may the blessing of Almighty God Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. <laughs>